Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we are working on the corn planter. We are going to get this thing completely ready to go for season 22. And uh, I'm going to walk you guys through everything we're doing and then get right to work. First of all, we had a seed box last year that the clamp, this thing that it hooks onto on the planter, it busted off. We ended up losing this whole box of seed prematurely last year. So we got a new box and we got another one because there was one getting close. Looks like it might be that one, number 12, 11 or 12, and uh, we're going to replace and both then, of them. We got then. our meters all calibrated, our ESET precision planting meters. They were all in to PM precision. Ours are calibrated for five and a half miles an hour. Of them. These are an updated style closing wheel bracket. These ones are cast. Those ones are just steel, so these ones are heavier. And also they have a bolt on so your bolt comes in through the, your closing wheel and then the nuts on the back. Well we have two different holes so we can stagger our closing wheels. We're also upgrading some depth gauge wheel arms or gauge wheel arms I should say. I don't know if Deer makes these. These are all through Shoop. This company here this is where we like to get all our planner and drill parts and a lot of tillage equipment parts through. Uh, these are new style that have a threaded up here instead of just sliding on there and they also have and then they make a screw in bushing that screws into there and it ends up looking like this one instead of replacing the entire arm every time they go bad you just replace this bushing and so that makes it a lot cheaper these bushings are about five dollars a piece instead of thirty dollars for one of those old arms they are about forty five dollars per arm. So we are changing out the drive chains on each row. These come from your main sprocket up here that runs the length of the planter and it comes back to this and your meter sits in between these two, uh, what do you want to call those, studs and it rotates your meter and drops your seed. The next upgrade we are doing is a closing wheel upgrade. These are the Yetter Poly Twister wheels, and we just bought the rings. These rings are about $140 a piece. It comes like, it comes like this. We bought one set to make sure they would fit. So these will bolt on. According to Beck's PFR, these closing wheels will add about five bushel the acre increase in corn and about two, two and a half in beans. Like I said, we're doing six rows. We're gonna do our own yield test and see if these are actually worth it. And if they are, we'll do the other six next year. If these are like what Beck say, then they will pay for themselves within this season. So anyway, now it is time to start tearing apart the planter and replacing parts. the arm what we got to do is we got to loosen this jam nut and then loosen this uh, jam bolt which jams against the bearing and pull the arm off this wheel needs a bearing so I'm going to be taking all these bolts off that hold the two halves of the wheel together and then inserting this bearing and that shows you what the arm clamps down onto and uh, hopefully not all of these wheels need bearings because I only have two here's the wheel apart like I was saying Here's the bearing, so just take it. And this one does have a little more wobble than I would have liked, so new one, pop it in, and you put this back on, put all these little bolts back in, and tighten it up. I got one wheel done, I got a lot more to go, and I got 15 minutes till lunch. Let's see if we can do this. Where there was one, now there are two, and there's still a ton over there. I am going to head home and get some lunch and then come back and dive right back into this project.
we are halfway done. We got 10 more wheels here to remove the arms on and then 10 over there that are done. We are coming up on the end of the day here. We have done a little bit since I left you guys. Mounted the 10 that are done, so they are all on the planter. And then uh, went through and secured all the fertilizer lines. My goal was, since the day was ending here, to get everything done on the planter so that it can go back in the barn because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then everything, like the boxes that need the meters put on, all those wheels, all the closing wheels that need to be replaced, they're all in the shop so that we can take care of that while it's in there. We got the first set of yetters on that we put on. I just wanted to put them on and see if they uh, line up pretty good, and they do. They look very good on here. But yeah, they look about the same as the factory ones did spacing-wise, so that's fine. So if we have to run like this with the old brackets, we can. That's pretty much what I was looking anyway, at. That is about all for corn planter work today. We'll see what we get to tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm just moving stuff in the shop and then I'm gonna fold that up, pull it around in the barn. So anyway guys, I will see you when we're back. Hello guys, it's been quite a little while. We finally got back up to PM Precision and we got the rest of our Yetter Poly Twister wheels. So they're all sitting here in a stack. What we're gonna be doing is stripping down the rubbers off of these. This is six rows worth, and we're gonna be putting the poly twisted onto these rims and then bolting them onto the planter. So I have a drill with a 10 millimeter socket on the end. That's what these bolts are. I'm just gonna zip all these out. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pry bar and go down in between the rim and the tire and we'll just kind of pop the rim off. You have a bearing and it's got one side sticks out and the other side's flat. The flat part goes on the side of the wheel with no screws or no bolt heads on it. The tire will pop off. Each Yetter Twister comes with poly or metal shims, and then these are directional, so you're going to want to put them on your wheels accordingly. On our wheels, the bolt heads go on the inside towards the planter bracket, so this is going to be the side that's on the outside. So uh, I'm going to make this my right wheel, so I'm going to want it this way. And there is an R on the wheel with a stamped arrow that shows you which way the wheel needs to turn. So this one's going to go like this. So we're going to put this down and we'll put the wheel on this direction. And I found the best way to put these on is to flip them over. And then... There are all of the spiked closing wheels done. It took me three hours to do... What is that, 12 wheels? Six, well, I did two the other day, so 10 wheels. It took me three hours. The other day I went through and put the meters on all the boxes, replaced the two boxes. Me and dad went through and put the gauge wheels on all these arms, or the arms on all these gauge wheels, so they are all ready. So, the planter is ready. We just gotta put all these parts on. Probably. Two new things, well, one new thing, two of the things we're putting on the planter this year, which is super exciting because I had little to no control over this whatsoever. We are putting Precision's, this is a fertilizer sensor. So we're gonna put this on two rows since we have two zones, I guess you could call them, on the planter. There's two different pumps, one for each half. So we are putting one on each side. This is gonna plug directly into our seed sense harness that is already existing and we will be able to get exact gallons per acre readings from the cab which is going to be awesome because i figured out last year while running that what it says i'm running in the book is nowhere close to what it's actually putting in the ground so i really am happy we got that those are about 150 dollars a piece just for anybody who wants to know but they are a no-brainer if you have no way to tell if you have fertilizer going out and how much Hello guys, it has been a while on this video. Uh, corn planter update still going. I'm gonna hopefully finish tonight. 
and uh, yeah, I've actually started a new video of tank and manure, which is at a standstill as well because our agitator just broke. So anyway, we are still working on the corn planer. I just finished all the depth gauge wheels. All the depth gauge wheels are on and mounted. I'm just going to cover a few things real quick before wrapping up the video because it is getting dark here shortly. It'll be dark in about half hour, 45 minutes, so I want to get this wrapped up so I can go home and edit it tonight. This is our flow sense through precision. This is our sensor for uh, telling us how many gallons per acre we are putting in this row. Now it just comes in and plugs in right where your vacuum sensor plugs in, this bottom plug on your SRM. Then it has a T here in case you're still using the vacuum sensor on a different row or something like that. You can take the cap off the SRM, just plug it on there. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to cut this up here. Just cut the blue line. I'm going to bring this around, put it right here, push the blue line in the top. There's arrows that show which direction the flow is and then push the blue line through the bottom and that will be that installed. And then there's a little bit of software work in the cab and that'll be all done. Next thing I'm working on is the Yetter Twister, Yetter Poly Twisters. And we're just putting them on the OEM brackets right now because our other ones are over there. And we are waiting on the bolts that hold the closing wheels on still. They are left hand thread and they are metric. They are super rare, hard to find only through deers and they are back ordered. So we are just putting them on here. You gotta set them up two inches apart, center the wheel to center the wheel, not in the sp on the spike, but in the valley. This little ridge here, measure two inches at the very bottom and it comes with washers to shim them up so you can get them right on and then that's all you gotta do. That is all I got left to do on the corn planer and then it's just oiling chains, putting the boxes back on. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.